Josh, I think it's time to start. And okay, Renata, you can start watching TV maybe a little bit later. So good afternoon to all. Welcome to the fourth expert talk of uh, the Creative Classroom Group. I'm really glad that today our expert is uh, Simos Retari. Simos uh, is an associate professor at the Department of uh, Digital Systems at the University of Piraeus uh, here in Greece. Uh, his research interests lie on the development of e-learning systems and interaction design for children. Uh, I'm very glad because we have collaborated again three months ago during the contact seminar we organized here in Greece. And I have to say that uh, after his workshop, all teachers uh, included uh, in the planning of their retweening projects the creation of digital comics. So I think this uh, shows how good he is uh, in this uh, topic. So Simo, I think you can start. Thank you very much once again for accepting to be here with us tonight. Okay, <clears throat> thank you, thank you, Rini. Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, thank you for being here, and um, I'm really glad because uh, this is one of my favorite uh, topics uh, to discuss with uh, fellow teachers and uh, fellow colleagues. So, uh, first of all, uh, let me tell you a few things about me and how we started. Um, I am uh, at the University of Piraeus, and uh, as uh, Irini said, I am mainly interested in the engineering part of e-learning. So I'm not a theory. Uh, I'm not doing many th uh, things about theory, but I'm trying to make applied research. So uh, we have a lab, which is called the Cozy Lab, as you can see. And we try to make people feel cozy with technology. So this is uh, how we started. So we thought that um, uh, digital storytelling and uh, web, in, uh, web or interactive web comics is a nice way to make students, but also teachers, feel more cozy with technology. So before I start, I would like to uh, tell you that you can always uh, ask questions, either raise your hand or just write something in the chat uh, as a chat message, and I can work on that. So I know it's, it is hard to have this kind of uh, uh, lecturing, uh, but we can make it uh, quite interactive if you agree. So uh, I think I can start, and uh, let's see what Oops, sorry. Yep. Let's see what we will see. First of all, I will give you some um, uh, definitions about comics and the history of comics. How we ended up talking about uh, web comics and especially how web comics entered into the uh, in, into education, especially school education. I will give you several links that we can use. Um, and uh, several initiatives around comics. Well, I started, to be honest, I started this initiative, first of all, because I, I cannot draw at all. So I'm really, really bad with the sketching. So however, I, I have this uh, tendency of uh, telling stories, fairy tales, etc. And I always like comics. I think that most of you liked comics, or I hope so. And uh, so I said that uh, since I have this uh, shortcoming, I tried, I had an idea of how to uh, diminish this and to be able to use other techniques and uh, technology uh, in order to write stories uh, despite the fact that they could not draw. So this is the way, this is why we started uh, designing tools for that. And then we saw that students love it. And uh, it was obvious because they read comics uh, and they want to express themselves with this medium. So I will give you um, all this idea about uh, initiatives in com for comics in education and then I will give you detailed uh, details about a case study, how you can design a learning process for embedding comics into education. And normally, I end this seminar with time for action. 
So I have uh, an activity, but we cannot uh, do it. We can do it live, live. And as Irini said, in a few weeks ago, we did that. So I will give you some ideas if you want to to do your own trainings, how you can organize it. So one of the um, uh, gurus, uh, guru in um, uh, comics, is Scott McLeod. And as you all know, comics, it is uh, juxtaposed pictorial and images in a deliberate sequence. So it's not uh, a poster. It's not uh, just a cartoon. We have to put images in a specific order and a specific sequence in order to convey the information and produce an aesthetic response uh, for the viewer. And Scott McLeod actually has written a nice book, uh, several books, but this is one of the nicest one, Understanding Comics. And uh, it is, he discusses about comics with a comic. So I, urge, I definitely believe that if you want to do any work around comics, please uh, go and buy it or find it anyway, somehow, uh, because it's really unique. Um, as you can see, Scott McLeod is a very well-known artist, and um, even uh, Google, for the new browser, Google Chrome, uh, and, uh, present, uh, tried to adver advertise it with uh, one of his comics. And now he's also working for other uh, companies and advertisement, etc. Now, before going to, into comics and co comic books or graphic novels, uh, novels but uh, there are several wor uh, words and um, uh, terms around it. First of all, let's talk about comic strips. Comic strips is the typical uh, three panels or six panels that you can find it in newspapers or, or magazines or even websites now. So it's short stories. And actually, the, the message that one can give is it's limited. On the other hand, we have comic books. One type of comic books is manga. Manga is the Japanese view of uh, the word in comics. Uh, actually, manga means uh, a uh, comic, a graphic novel in Japanese. And then we go to digital comics and web comics. Now, digital comics started with the idea that, first of all, we have a printed comic and we digitize it. And then we make it as an um, electronic book so that everyone can read it uh, on the web. Um, this is a limited perspective of digital comics. The web comics, or the, this is actually what is called digitized comics. The digital comics, and now the, the term of web comics, is a new uh, type of comic books that try to take advantage, advantage of the web's unique abilities, which is hypermedia, interactivity, and infinite canvas. So we don't have anymore any limitation on the number of pages, because as you know, one type of, one limitation of printed comics is the number of uh, pages that y you have to uh, write, you have to offer to the publisher. Now, with, uh, on the web, we don't have these kinds of limitations. Now, hypermedia uh, is, first of all, uh, next, forward, backwards, etc. But also, this is a limited uh, perspective of digital or web comics. What is really important, and this is, this is the thing that I would like to stress in this uh, presentation, and actually the first take-home message uh, for today, is that think of a web comic as the typical comic, which means panels. In a panel you have clip arts, parts discuss with each other with balloons, but in the balloon you don't have just text. You can have hypertext, hyperlinks, but also you can embed audio files so that, it, so that to avoid 
having a limitation of the message that a clip art wants to convey. Also, you can embed in a panel uh, a link to a video. So that now a, co a web comic actually is a digital story, but in the form of a comic. A typical exa uh, one example of the first kind of, of uh, web comic, which has just forward, backwards, and the infinite canvas, is the word of um, um, Young, Gene Young. It's about uh, factory. It's a mathematic comic. There are very few true interactive web comics because it's not. It's a new type of web comics, uh, and people and uh, authors have not yet managed to ra create really, really nice and important web comics. On the other hand, students can make really, really impressive web comics. And this is actually the take-home message too for today. Do not try to create your own web comics, but please make your students become authors of their own web comics using their imagination, using their experiences, either individually, but mainly in collaboration, as we can see later on in a lesson plan. Now, of course, web comics, uh, comic books are very popular. As I, uh, this is uh, on the uh, lower, on the left, uh, lower left uh, side of the slide. You can see um, an image from the Google Chrome uh, comic book, but you can you know that there are several uh, popular co books that exist in uh, comics, like for example Persepolis, or on the other hand, very famous comics became movies. So there is this um, interplay of comics and uh, cinema and also graphic novels. Oops, where am I? Ah, come on. Sorry. My mouse is oh, okay. Yeah. Now, how about educational comics? Well, there are uh, several educational comics, so the, you can actually find uh, uh, ready-made educational comics. However, uh, most of them are in English. Uh, European Commission has published uh, two comic books in all official languages of the European Union, and I, I sincerely uh, hope that you can find them, especially the second one, which is uh, how to fight against discrimination and racism. It is called Me the Racist. It's a fantastic comic book. It's a typical printed book, but you can find it also digitized. There are several uh, on the market, there are several books, for example, like uh, What's Darwin Got to Do With It or, uh, or other similar that. So if you go to Amazon and you uh, type educational comic books, you can find uh, some of them.